All right, today we're gonna to be looking at our lab titled Making Waves. We're gonna stretch the, spl the blinky out. And we've actually changed the distance. The uh, worksheet says to stretch it out to two meters, but uh, we are stretching it out to three meters. So if you don't have this worksheet, make sure you've downloaded it and have that, or you've uh, gotten it from the teacher. Part one says that with our hand, we're gonna grasp the spring at one end and that we're gonna pull it straight back and then compress the spring by pushing it forward. So I'm gonna pull back a little bit and I'm gonna push it forward, causing a longitudinal wave to be formed. So take a look at how it responds. So you can take a look at that. Now notice it says uh, your instructions, question one, describe in words and drawings what you see after releasing the spring. So when we um, form that longitudinal wave, you need to identify what happens when I release it or when I send it um, away from me. All right, the next question, Question two says, what happens to the wave when it reaches the other end? So it reaches the other end, what does it do after it gets to the end? All right, moving on to part two. This time we're going to be forming a transverse wave. So I'm going to be taking and I'm going to be moving my hand to the right or the left and back to its original position um, so that we can produce a large wave. So there's that large wave that we're looking for. Excellent. Again, question three says describe in words and drawings what you see after we release the spring, meaning once the wave has left my hand area and it's traveling down, what do you see? Remember, words and pictures. Excellent. Number three, describe in words and drawings what happens to the wave when it reaches the other end? So now pay close attention to the other end. What does it do after it gets back to the end? All right. And finally, question number five. They want to know, does the size of the wave change as it travels down the spring? So as it's going down that to the, um, to the other end, um, does the size of our wave change? Does it get larger? Does it get smaller? Does it stay the same? I'm gonna try to do it to the other side just so that uh, you can see it a little bit better going the other direction. All right, now remember, each time you answer these questions, they should be answered in complete quality seventh grade level responses.